G'day everyone, Gareth here from Organic Growing Melbourne. I just want to do a quick update on the avocado and heat stress. So we've just had two days in a row It's where it's hit 35 degrees. And um, that's extremely hot and potentially deadly for young avocados. If you look at this bacon carefully, you can see the leaves are starting to curl up. There's a good example right here. That's heat stress. It wants some water and it's stressed. So is the Pinkerton. You can see the leaves, the leaves are curling up the top here. But if you look at the Hass, that's not too bad still wants a drink I can tell by the leaves drooping a bit but we don't have any leaves really curling because it's established it's got a nice canopy so it protects it protects itself but the importance of keeping avocados in pots again here's the lamb house and you can see these older leaves are a bit stressed here need a good drink as well Sometimes in days like, like this, especially two days in a row, you could possibly water them twice a day. So they're, they're all desperately need of water. And the importance of them being in the pot is you can move them. So this pot will get morning sun, and then it's protected by the banana and the avocado in the afternoon. The Pinkerton, on the other hand, because I've been so busy. I'm gonna move that Pinkerton with the lamb house over here and protect that for future hot days. But the bacon, I put this in the ground and I've done this deliberately. I put it in the ground to show you um, through these hot periods what I do to protect it um, but in saying that I do highly recommend keeping your avocados in a pot for two to three years to establish a big canopy this this bacon is actually really small but it's actually you can see how thick and protected it is all right so I'll move this one over to the lamb house beside this avocado to protect it from the afternoon sun. And then I would get, in fact, what I'll do is I'll show you what I'll do when we get the hot weather again. Just bear with me, I'll come back in a minute. All right, it looks silly. Avocado fully shaded. Umbrella for Bun from Bunnings. Paid about nine bucks for the umbrella. Of course, in high winds, can be a bit of an issue. But when you're desperate, it'll, it'll work. I used it last year. Um, I'm not gonna need it now. The weather's gonna get cold now. We've had two days of where they've hit 34 and 35, and we've also, it's actually now dropped to probably about 22 now in probably 15 minutes all right so there's another way to protect your avocado from the sun because young avocados need as much protection as you can get otherwise they will burn anything that's green that's a green you can actually see you can actually see I've got sun damage at, on the trunk just there from here up to here. It's all sun damage that. I'm probably going to see some more on here later on. All right. Those trees, avocado trees are unprotected until it forms a bark. Once you have a bark, your avocado will be protected. I'll show you what I mean. I may have mentioned this in my other video, but I'll just 
just uh, I'll just demonstrate again on the house here how you've got all this vulnerable see all that all that's open to burn but if you come in here you can see how the trees got a bark on it now that's pretty much protected now and then you can see here it starts to go green it's all protected over there green up the top all right so there we go I just thought I'd quickly share that with you because we've had a couple of hot days all right well uh I think we'll wrap that up and I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone, bye.